In this demonstration, we're going to look at how to deploy a TKG, Tanzu Kubernetes Grid guest cluster in vSphere with Tanzu. We already have a namespace created. You can see in the status field of the namespace, we can download the tools that allows us to interact with that namespace and indeed with vSphere with Tanzu. Um, but as well as that in the namespace, we also have storage created. Uh, we have a policy there. We have the ability to set resource limits if we so wish. And we already have a content library with Tanzu Kubernetes Grid OS images available. So now we're going to switch over to the CLI. I've already downloaded the CLI tools and I'm going to use the following command to actually log into my namespace. I'm actually using the, um, the Kubernetes control plane API address there. And so I can see that I have the three control plane nodes. I can see that I have the storage policy that now equates to a storage class all available within that namespace. And these are all the images that are in my content library that I can use for building the guest clusters. So just checking the context, I'm indeed in my correct namespace. So now I'm going to deploy out this YAML or manifest file that has one control plane and two workers with an image of 117.1. Now it also has a class of VM called guaranteed small. We can query those different classes as well using the following commands. And there it will tell us the CPU and memory resources that are being consumed by each class. And so the, f the fact that we have the spec and policy set like that means that the uh, resources will be guaranteed. So now I'm going to apply that manifest file. Manifest file has been applied, but it looks like it's uh, taking its time to get started. While it's doing that, we can pop over to the vSphere client and have a look and see what's going on. We can see my namespace. That's where I deployed my cluster. You can see the cluster object has been created, but at this point in time, there are no virtual machines yet. These, those virtual machines are still being deployed out from the content library images that we saw previously. So it looks like it's getting created. At least the first control plane node is appearing. We can see uh, there's various kubectl commands we can use now. There's various kinds that we can query. Uh, one of those is Tanzu Kubernetes cluster. You can see it's in a state of creating. And in fact, we can get a lot more information by using a, dis a describe command against that cluster. And there we'll be able to see um, the state of all of the various components that are needed to stand up that guest cluster. So at the moment, a lot of stuff is pending. We do have our API endpoint. Our load balancer is there from our uh, HA proxy. Um, but we'll speed things up and let's do another query. And lo and behold, it looks like it's all up and running now at this point, at least from a control plane perspective. So you can see all the add-ons, the cloud provider, the uh, container network interface, the container storage interface, and those are all available. So indeed, the control plane is powered on. That seems to have uh, come up okay. And now we're building out our uh, workers. So we said in our manifest that we wanted two workers, and we're just waiting for those to uh, pop in there. So we can speed things up again. And uh, in just a moment, we'll see those workers appear on our workload network, again, using IP addresses provided to the guest cluster uh, when we configured workload management initially. And there we go. We can see them uh, popping up there. We can see them appearing with the, uh, the range of IP addresses that we configured previously. And indeed, there's our second worker and the control plane is up and running already. So it looks good. Let's uh, do one last check now on our namespace. Should see a few things filling in there like CPU used, memory used, all that good stuff. A little bit more information in the Tanzu Kubernetes window. We have one healthy control plane node, which looks good. And we can click on the view all and we can see that there's uh, the clusters running with a worker count of two, control plane address, distribution, version, and so on. So uh, let's have a look at the virtual machines. This is another kind of object available in our namespace. And we saw the three virtual machines there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out of the context of the namespace, but log back in in the context of the guest 
cluster, the Tanzu Kubernetes guest cluster. In order to be able to do that, there's two additional command line entries needed. One of them is the name of the cluster, and the second one is the namespace where the cluster is running. So provide those, provide the password, log back in, and my context now should have changed to the context of the guest cluster. Best way to check that, uh, obviously you can check the contexts, uh, you can see that there, but also look at the nodes. And now we're querying from the point of view of the guest cluster nodes. Uh, so it doesn't look like it's fully up and running yet. There's probably some pods that still need to come up. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's some. Uh, so the CSI node pods are still uh, creating. Uh, we'll give them a moment. And now if we check back on our nodes, we'll be definitely be able to verify that we're working in the context of that guest cluster as opposed to working in the context of the supervisor cluster. And there are all the pods up and running. And that completes the demonstration.